Hello, I welcome you to this video. My name is Timothy Matule, and on this channel, I create content on how you can use Revit, Lumion, 3DS Mask, and AutoCAD. In case you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that when I upload the next video, you will be notified and click on the notification bell so that if I upload the next video, you'll be notified that, hey, Acting Consult has uploaded another video and you check it out. And in case this video helps you, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. You can ask your question in the comment section. And let me know if you are using the same method that I am using now. In this particular video, I'll be showing you how to create this custom handrail. You know, if you are used to Revit, you will agree with me that Revit does not have these customized handrails. So you have to create it yourself. And many of my students have asked me that how they how can they create this kind of uh, customized handrail that have lots of curves and all of that and that is the reason why i want to create this video for you guys now so that you will learn how you can create this kind of customized handrail okay without wasting your, without wasting your time let's get started now if you look at this particular one that i've created now if you check it out if i click on it you will see that the moment i select it you see edit in place and that means i use model in place to create this particular one i use model in place uh, let me show you an example of how I did it. I simply go to I simply go to architecture tab, select model in place, and let me go to floor plan first. I'll go to floor plan, preferably ground floor plan. Okay. Let me push this aside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select model in place and I'll select casework and click OK. Uh, I don't mind the name for now. Then I'm going to select extrusion. I'm going to select extrusion. Then it depends on the profile you want to create. For instance, I want to create a cycler profile. In that case, I'm going to select this cycle. And this is the height. The height may not be too much. Maybe something like um, 300 mm. Okay. And I want to position it where I can always see it. So let me position it here somewhere here so that i can always see it okay and the radius the radius could be something like um if the diameter is about about 40 mm then the radius should be something like 20 mm and i'm going to hit enter let me activate line so that we can see what we are doing and the material I am going to select the material I am going to select the material the material you are seeing now is light and I don't want it to be light I want it to be something like handrail okay let me select handrail and click OK then 
let me finish it and see let me go to 3d and see what we are talking about uh, let me go to okay that is the 3d okay the box let me finish it for now because this box has been has masked it out it's a box that i used some time ago okay so i actually did the model somewhere here okay so now you can see the model here though it is small you can see it here okay so that is that that is the first part of now let me copy that one we were seeing before let me copy the one we were seeing before okay i need to cut section through that so we can see that let me go to section okay or i can go to i'm on the floor plan now let me go to first floor so that i can copy it i think it should be somewhere here okay let me unselect this so that i can select it okay now if i highlight it now you see that what you are seeing here is that um, handrail so i am going to copy one of them i'm going to copy one of them or simply drag let me use this copy let me not copy to clipboard so if i copy it out now i will paste it somewhere here okay so let me look at it in 3d let me look at it in 3d okay so you can see it here you can see it here so the one i've created now is this particular bit that is from here to here so creating this kind of a handrail you have to spend time with it it's not something that will be easy you have to spend time with it so the first part i've created is this one now if you look at this from here to here uh, to here it's not that straight it's not that straight so what i will use to create this particular part that is not straight i may have to use um sweep blend sweep blend okay so i will go to the floor plan i'll go to the floor plan and this is the one i was working on before so i'm going to select it and edit edit in place and the reason is that so that they will be in family because if you are not in editing mode and you create another another one they are going to be separate but because they are in editing mode they are going to be a single family okay so i am going to create a new one and this time around i am going to use swept blend i'm going to use swept blend so i select swept blend and here i'm expected to pick parts okay if i'm expected to either pick parts or sketch parts and the part has to be on an elevation so let me close this one for now because i need to be on an elevation before i can do that so i'll have to close this one first let me close it for now
okay so let me go to elevation first before i can do that i'm going to approach view and here is my approach view and i select this and edit in place and now i can select create then now select swept blend and here i can sketch parts and i am expected to pick plane for now so i'm going to pick plane and i look for a plane that i can sketch on okay let me activate this so, so that i can pick a proper plane okay let me sketch on this plane on this plane of a uh, column base okay now this is i'm going to sketch the path for now and this part will be something like the height will be something like 300 mm and press enter okay that is the parts then let's finish the, the part now we are going to edit profile here since it's swept blend we are having two profile the smaller profile and the bigger profile so let me select profile one and i am going to edit profile then it will take me to ground floor plan where i am going to sketch the part okay let me this is our our first model but this is where we have our reference point okay now let me sketch it here first let this profile one be the normal radius that we have which is uh, 20 mm or let's make it smaller something like uh, uh, 18 mm and press enter okay then let's go to profile 2 and select edit profile and select cycle then or instead of cycle now let's select um, square let's select square or rectangle so that it will it will blend it together and um, we have um, something like um, casting work okay let, let me move it to the okay let me move uh, the other one to the center of the reference plane okay that is that so if i finish it now it's going to blend the cycle and the rectangle or square together now let's look at it in 3d you see what i'm talking about okay now can you see that it has blended that cycle and the square together and let me select it if we like we can even make this set the first one to be square too let's make the first one to be square this is it and let's no this is it here let's edit that profile and let's go to floor plan and instead of rectangle instead of square let's make it a rectangle let's make it a rectangle so that uh -huh. let's assume we want it to twist we want it to be a twisted uh, stuff in that case i'm going to rotate this before i rotate it let me place it at the center let me place it at, at the center before i rotate it i'll move it to the center to the center okay all right that is that and i am going to make sure it is the same size 
as what we have in the cycle okay okay that is okay let's try and move it to the center let's try and move it to the center slowly we go okay that is that now i can remove the circular one now okay so let me try and rotate it so that we have a twisted stop let me rotate it if i pick it from this point then place it here okay you will see that we are going to have uh, a sort of uh, twisted uh, stuff okay now let's finish it uh let's look at it in 3d okay can you see that it's some somehow twisted and the material at this point we need to select the material to be handrail as well so that they will be of the same material and i'm going to go to one of the elevation and at this point the front elevation will not help us so what is going to help us help us will be the side elevation which is either the right or the left but at this point it is the right that we need so i'm going to move it to the i'm going to move it on top of this first model that we have okay that is that and if i like i can copy this i can duplicate this one i can duplicate this one like that and let's see whether it is the height of what we want and I want to place um, a reference plane here so that we can use it for our measurement. And let me place my dimension. Uh, let's say we want our the height of our hundred to be something like um, nine hundred. If the height is 900 or let's make it 800 so that it can fit in into any handrail we need okay that is that in that case i am going to copy this i'm going to bring this one down or let me reduce the height of this let me reduce the height so that uh approach and i am going to bring down the height a little bit okay let me reduce this to something like 200 mm and that is that we'll finish it uh -huh. and i can move it up a little bit oh yes now i can delete this you don't mind spending time on this so far you can get what you want then you will understand that it's worth spending time on i can copy this and on select uh, constraints then i can stretch this to this all right that is that okay so now you have seen that we have created some sort of um irregular model let's look at it in 3d first you can create as much as much irregularities as you want to create but let's make it simple okay that is that now what we want to create now is um all these curve sort of this curved this curved part of it that's what we want to create now so let's go to one of the elevation while still in the editing mode we go to one of the elevation preferably approach elevation and 
this time around we are going to select create and what we may likely create we can use extrusion we can also use um, sweep sweep we can use sweep okay but let's try and use uh, extrusion and see because if we use the extrusion it means that the profile will be either rectangular or square but if we want it if we want the profile to be circular then in that case we will have to use sweep so let's try and use sweep let let me use sweep so if i want to use sweep now i've already picked sweep so the first thing i will do is to sketch parts it's to sketch parts and here i am prompted to select a plane and uh, let's select the first plane we have been using which is uh, this column plane okay and the first part i'm going to sketch will be make it simple first don't make it curve yet so that you'll be able to get your your profile right after you have gotten your profile right you can now make it curve okay that is the strategy okay let's finish it we have finished the part we want to create the profile now and let's go to one of the floor level and the profile wants it to be want it to be circular and the radius can be something like 18 mm okay that is 18 mm and let's finish it let's finish it and by the time we finish it you will see that it's just a simple straight line okay now we want to make it curve to make it curve now you select the same model and let's deal with the material for now let's select the material to be handrail want them to be okay or let's make it handrail too because sometimes we want to make it make them different materials for instance this one can be gold and this one can be uh, bronze wherever i want to create okay now let me edit the sweep let me select the part and sketch part and uh, let's do it from the approach view so that it will be easier for us okay so i can delete this part for now and make it curve instead and make it curve make it curve okay select another one make it curve pick the same one okay now you see that we have curves something now and let's finish it oh yes that is what we have you can keep modifying it until you get what you want now let's rotate it and move it to the side you can see that it's a little bit too uh, the scale is bigger than what we have here so you, we can work on it a little bit you can work on the part now if you if this part is not curved enough the way you want it then you may have to select a more smaller rectangle okay now let's reduce the scale let's scale it down a little bit let's scale it down a little bit so that to not be too bogus 
okay uh, let's finish it and see what we have oh yes this is getting closer to what we want though not exactly but you can keep working on it until you get exactly what you want you wouldn't mind spending time on this okay now i can copy before i copy it let me move it to the right point looking at it from the front elevation it is right but let's look at it from the right elevation you see that it has shifted okay so now i am going to move it to align with what we have here okay now it is on the same alignment now if we look at it from the 3d you see that it is staying at the right position so let's go to the approach view and we can mirror this before we mirror we can copy it first we can copy it we can copy it and that's the copy then this one at the middle you can scale it up a little bit to make it bigger than the remaining the other ones let's scale it up to make them to make that one a little big, big bigger and finish it okay that is that now we can mirror all this we can mirror all this let's mirror them okay now you see something similar to what i have here though not exactly but this one i did here i spent time to make it this same size so you spend time on this to make it smaller you can see this one is a little bit bigger just spend time and reduce the scale you can reduce the the radius it's just a matter of editing stuff okay let's finish it and see what we have oh yes that is what we have that is what we have that's what we have okay so if you want to place it on your handrail now we have this single one we have this we have it as a single model now you want to create you want to place it on your handrail let me delete all this one let me delete all this for instance if i want to place it here all i need to do is to go to my elevation i go to where i can see it i go to elevation and move this one i'll move it up to somewhere here let's see somewhere here okay and uh, move it up let me disjoin so that it can move freely move it up all right that is that well move it up make sure it's staying on is staying on one of the rail one of the baluster is staying on one of the baluster okay and you can go to your floor plan to position it properly if i go to the floor plan okay now you can see this is where it is and it's not supposed to be here it's supposed to be on the handrail so i'm going to move it while on the floor plan if i like i can activate my auto mode so that pressing my shift key will activate the auto mode so that it will move straight line okay now you look at it in 3d now you see that it is at exactly the point where we want it to be you can see it now this is where we want it to be and if you want it to fill this point it's just a matter of a matter of um, copying and duplicating them 
so all i need to do is to select it let me select it okay while it is selected i am going to copy it if i want to copy it to the fifth one two three one two three four five the fifth baluster i'm going to place it here and you have to place it on the exact point where you have your baluster then i can continue like that so that i'll place it on other baluster i'll select copy i can select multiple so that i can continue to be placing them and continue okay that is that now you see it in 3d that is your customized handrail you cannot get this in revit this is fully customized so it's not left for you to reduce the scale you can see it's bigger than the default uh, reel and the baluster so it's left for you to reduce the scale of this if i want to reduce the scale of this even before i start copying it it's a question of um, selecting it and reducing the the radius if i reduce the, the radius to something like um let's say 12 and finish it you see that the scale will be reduced you can see the scale has reduced drastically it has reduced okay so that's how you work on it and i hope this video has helped somebody in case this video has helped you make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know your comments in the comment section that this video helped me a lot make sure you, you make that comment so that youtube algorithm can help this video to reach more people and in case you have not yet subscribed to this channel there's going to be a subscription button at the lower part of this video make sure you tap on that subscription button and ring the notification bell so that you'll be notified when i'm going to upload the next video and don't forget to share this video with your friends so that they too can learn how to create customize handrail and baluster you can use this for any type of baluster you want to create okay i hope you enjoyed this video and also enjoyed it creating it for you all right bye and see you in the next video